understanding of that universe. And that absence of Muslim presence in the frontier of science persists to this day. Take a look at the Nobel Prize from 1900 to 2010. I can do this, do this for the, for the Jews, for example. How many Jews in the world? There's like 15 million tops, tops, 15 million out of 7 billion people. These are the numbers of Jews who have won the Nobel Prize in the sciences. 25% of the Nobel Prizes. We have a Jewish person in the audience. Congratulations, okay, fine, okay. <laughs> this is rightly something to be extraordinarily proud of. The traditions of Jews in the 20th century is one of, of education and scholarship. Uh, in earlier centuries, it was one of very strict sort of uh, um, uh, study of the Torah, did not involve the natural world. This was a later emergence of the Jewish culture to exhibit this. Let's look at the numbers for Islam. So these are Jews. There are 15 million Jews, 25% of the Nobel Prizes. There is 1.3 billion Muslims in the world. These are the numbers. Two and a half. Okay, I'll give you three if you really want to include economics as a full number there, okay? If you gotta give it a full number, okay, I'll, okay. <laughs> now, for me, by the way, you can analyze this in any number of ways. There are 50 times the number of Nobel Prizes, 180th the population, there's 4,000 times the impact. I lose sleep at night with the question, how many secrets of the universe lay undiscovered? Because 1.3 billion people who in an ancestral time would have participated in this enterprise and are now not. That's what I think of as a scientist. Whole populations. By the way, there are other populations that never contributed. I'm not going to them and blaming them. I'm talking about a population that already did contribute. It's in, it's in the cultural heritage already. All we're asking is to resurrect it. It, is, it has not happened. Neil deGrasse Tyson, he's not a politician. He's just calling it like he sees. And he mentioned the Jewish people, and he decided to compare it to Islam. But if you actually want to go the Zionist route, we can do that too, by the way. Israel has the highest Nobel laureate per capita in the world since independence, meaning that Israel has only been around for 75 years and they have 13 Nobel Prize winners. That is the highest per decade capita of any country in terms of Nobel laureates. So the proof is in the pudding. You know, Israel is a democracy living among despots, and for some reason, the world is upset, envious, and obsessed with Israel in the Middle East.